one slice, we come on the show, we talk about the sermon in real life perspective and let you know what we think about whatever it is that Pastor Balaji has been teaching. Welcome to Slice. My name is Precious. And my name is Frank. All right, last episode we had this very interesting talk. Uh, we talked about sea finish and um, there was a question of why do you think a guy would not ask you to marry him yet? And Frank had interesting answers. So, uh, First off, I want you to discount everything that I said in the last episode because I've evolved. Mm. Yeah, so whatever you hear today is from an advanced human. Okay. At the bedrock of the whole delay and everything is money. Mm. Yes. Mm. So quote me uh, anyway. Money. It's money. Right. Financial inadequacy. Financial inadequacy. Alright. That's interesting. Mm. So you said some things about C finish too. You said um, C finish could be good, could be bad. Yeah, you know, it is important to um, approach conversations from varying perspectives. You understand? You know, C finish has the term C finish has a negative connotation. Most people don't see finish is bad. It's not always bad. You know, your partner is expected to see you finish. Hmm. That's it. No secret. No holds back. You understand? See you finish completely. It's where there's disrespect and content. That's where there's, there's, there's a problem. But see finish is very healthy. It, it, it shows a you know, man, okay. an honest relationship. You understand? Open, no secrets. Thank you. I used that word last week. I don't want to use it again because I'm not the man that I was. You mm-hmm. know. Yes, thank you. Right, all right. So, we are in a relationship, we're talking about how our future will look like, how many children, and we are planning wedding with another, another guy. girl. <laughs> another <laughs> girl. Oh my god. Uh, eh? Okay, so first off, for us to be in a relationship, like Frank said, yeah, well, Frank said it's based on marriage. Me, I would say, you're in a relationship with me, I have counsel of elders. For myself, <laughs> like me, myself, and I, then my friends. Hmm. I mean, how do you? It's not just ah, adding, it's not adding up. Mm-hmm. Hey, God. <laughs> okay, so I'm I'm quite a calm person. So the way I yeah. would deal, yes, I'm actually quite calm when it comes to things like this in relationship. I mostly agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> I like bass goes, bass goes. <laughs> no, I'm hmm. quite calm because. I, uh, my intelligence, I hate it when my intelligence is being messed with. So I will calmly sit you down and tell you what was your plan. Ask you what was your plan exactly. Like, if can you pay all your plans were working out fine, how were you going to do away with me? I don't understand. Is it not better we both know where we are, stick as friends, and everything goes smoothly? But to cut everything short, I'm sure I carry my kaya and move. Pick your L and move. Simple and short. I don't I don't like keeping malice with people. I don't like holding grudges. So it was nice <laughs> trying to plan a future with you. Mm-hmm. So at this point, I pick myself up and I move. I improve myself. Just improve on yourself. Like improve yourself to the point where you know that. That kind of guy exactly. cannot match up to your level. Exactly. No, no, no. Ah, no. Can't. And then I will try as much as possible not to. Like, just try to be more sensitive. Stay in the place of prayer, the waiting space. Stay in the place of prayer. Communicate more with the Holy Spirit. Let the Holy Spirit guide your steps. So you don't make mistakes like this. Yeah. And even if everything is looking on fine and then things like this are about to, about to happen, you will be sensitive enough to know when to pull out of it. That's just what I have to say. Frank. Oh, okay, so um I, I don't I don't condone Frank, can you do it? Mm. Frank, are you sure? 
No, I can't. I trust Frank. Mm. Frank, I'm a guy. So the reason why I can't, that I know of, is that my 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 conscience is very annoying. My conscience is so loud that even in the most um, flimsy situations, I won't be able to sleep. So I, I don't. So that's why I'm usually very wary of um, verbal commitment. Um, I, I I examine the things that I say before I say them, so that you don't hold me to and say, "But you said this." Right? So I'm usually wary of who I'm giving like my verbal commitment to. So the kind of person that I am, I won't be able to do that. So given this scenario, I I, I don't condone violence. That I will understand. Okay. If you choose to be violent in that regard towards the guy, I will, I will understand. Because it requires. It, it's, a, it's a very wicked act. Very wicked. Right? It's not. It's, it's wicked. Because how do you. How do you tell somebody to wait on you? Right? You guys are doing the whole waiting thing together. Yeah. But you've already accelerated somebody proceedings else. with somebody else. Yeah. It's, it's wicked. Very. It's wicked, except for a witch, and he does not know how to detach. You understand? But he's just looking for a means to run away. But all of that things being equal, it's a, it's a, it's a wicked act. I, I honestly think that you should, in that regard, you should give him a piece of your mind. However, you should hmm. to express it. Hmm. Don't kill him. Um, that can be painful. But express, express your heart. Make see, express it. Honestly. Because there's. That's not. It. It will be. It will be impractical to tell you. You will just accept it like that. It, it, mm. That does not make any sense. Mm. You know, honestly, we're all human beings, right? So express your grievance within the confinement of reason, and you move on. Because yeah. that's just it. whoever who plan a wedding with somebody else while he was in a relationship with you obviously sees no future whatsoever with you. So spending an additional minute. There, either it's negotiating or opening is complete is a is a is an exercise in futility so it does not make any sense express your anger and frustration you know yes and can you shoot him yeah, that's why i said that's why i said within that's why i said within, within reason <laughs> but you can you can bite him that's a lot you can bite him bite him in the neck better bite him. <laughs> I condone that. I, I mean, okay, not condone, but I understand. Mm. Well, for me, mm. it's bad goes home. Eh? First, I'm going to, I'm going to actually sit down because I'm a very dramatic person. How? <laughs> like how? The, because honestly, it's not even the guy that is actually going to tell you that he's planned the wedding. You will find out from social media. Oh, you know how social media is. You will find out from social media, and they will be like, no, I can't be. Then you start doing deep dive. If you go into his phone. And by the time you realize that, eh, you invested, you poured your love into a basket and then it was just in like the person did not even send you and he's going into meet somebody to, he wants to go and get married to somebody else. Ha, I'll wear black to that way. I will <laughs> wear black to, to that way. I will go to the way I wear and then they say, is there anybody that wants to stand up for this? I mean, I'm, I'm just joking. But I'll be so pain. I'll, I'll just, first I'm going to actually try to process it because it's going to be a lot for me to actually mm-hmm. like sit down and think about it. Then when I'm done, I'll actually call him to know the reason why like, Kibushin, what happened? Let's talk. How did it happen? Was there a point where I missed out? Was there a point where you did not like me? How did the girl come into the picture? When did it? Because it has actually happened to me. The, I was in school one time and I was dating somebody and um the person there was already a prophecy though that somebody is going to have a child for this guy but i knew that it could not be me <laughs> I just knew that because i was not going to have a child out of wedlock so i was very cautious about it and then i um we had a, we had a little argument and we just stopped talking there was no i'm not doing anymore or something we just stopped talking and the next like three or four months somebody um he came to see me and then i saw a picture on his phone or, or his wallpaper and it was a baby and in my head i thought it was his brother's baby i was like oh this baby is so cute you know i never still knew that this was his child 
He was still showing all the care. Like, is you I want to be with? Is you I want to shake me come? Until one day, a friend of his called me and said, ah, Do you know this person is actually doing this dedication? Dedication, how? Where? I'm like, Okay, oh, that picture. You know, one plus two plus three. I was able to realize that, ah, okay, no wala. But we're not talking anymore, so it wasn't so much of a big deal. But I, I just deleted the number, I stopped talking. And then one year later, this person calls me. My son is having his one year birthday party. Do you like I say if you I will kidnap that child. <laughs> you say what? <laughs> you know what? Well, you know what's funny? I, I think you would have made a great godmother. Right. Wow. No, now I am. Oh, We've said wow. yes, I'm a child of God. I learn how to forgive. I, I I allow the Holy Spirit to just leave me. Eventually I actually did. And we are very cool. In short, my family and his family, we are all very fine together. So but for that period of time, it took me like two years before I actually forgave or let go of everything. So what I'm trying to say is that in that situation, when I knew that ah my bobo is moving into getting married to somebody else, there is actually nothing you can do except you want to now be very evil. That's when you're allowing the devil to make to use okay. you. Maybe you go into the person's house, pour acid, spill, you know, do all those all those very toxic things, you know. So the best thing you can do is just to have the conversation. Ah, Omo, um, you're going to be so that's correct breakfast. Breakfast around six a.m. in bed. Uh, yes. Hey! Oh, but then you said something, you were like, you would ask him why, yes. is there something this, why? Yes, because, why are you asking well, me? for me, for me, for every time Speak I want to move into another, move. for every time I want to move into another relationship, I try to know what was the flaws I had in the previous one, so that I don't take it to the next one. Because you cannot, you, you, you only see yourself in the mirror. The mirror tells you, oh, you look this way, you look that way. You might not really know what you're doing. That is supporting the next person and the person might not communicate with you so at that time you just ha ha um, have to have that conversation like is there anything that happened what happened okay. what's where you did i do anything wrong because you might be very oblivious of some certain things that you do so then for you to now move on hmm, just delete the number first <laughs> delete and block I me mean, it works for me Sha. I did it and block and then anything that concerns that person, even if you're a friend, I won't start telling me, ah, this person, do you know that you bought a car for the wife? Delete and block. Anything related to that person, delete and block. So that I don't have any traces oh. as regards the past memories. So I just move on. I'm I hit the I'm gym. I, I, I exercise my muscles. I become the best person I can be. So that by the time you are seeing me next, ah, you know you are still saying that the guy was still saying oh, it's you, I still want to have the future. That future you will see it and you know that you cannot have it. Mm. So that's it for so me. So you pray for him? I will pray for him. Yes, because like I said, my past um when after, it happened. After to like me, actually, yes, it took me two years <laughs> actually. <laughs> it took me two years to actually pray for the person. Because it's not easy, yes. It's not easy to move on. Uh, if you have been so invested, except the relationship was an open relationship where you guys were not so deep into like a lot of things. So, but if it was something you have actually invested your time, your money, your everything, you just pray for the person and move on. What kind so, of prayer do you pray? Is it all the prayer that used to be like courses? <laughs> like, uh, if I did anything, if I did, did something bad, then this will happen to you. I have happiness. But if I didn't do anything <laughs> bad to no. you, and this is you. No. Live, okay, so a life of complete sadness, dejectedness, and <laughs> maybe not the kind of prayer we pray for. No, 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 absolutely not. But after two years, I, yeah, ah, wow. it's going to take you a lot, though. Okay, so what I actually think people people handle these things differently. differently. For me, like I said before, calmly, okay, discuss one or two things. Don't waste too much time. I pass my tire and I move. Yeah, yeah but does not mean I'm not pained. The pain, I I transform the pain to self love. Mm -hmm. I take care of myself. So my kind of person, I don't know if it's good or bad, my kind of person, I have to first show myself that love. Love myself to the point at which I am satisfied. Like the yeah. pain is gone. Before I will not decide to pray for that. I, I I think in that situation, that's when who you are or your the way that you express yourself will come to the fore. You know. The non-confrontational people will bounce. Yeah. And not like, yeah. For instance, myself, I'm I'm very confrontational. I don't I don't shy away from confrontation or conflict at all. In fact, I will come. <laughs> right. But the thing is, in, in that kind of scenario now, 
you know, it's something that would be like really painful. I don't know if this is healthy or not, but I welcome pain a lot. Like my threshold for pain is very high. Right? And not 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 physical pain, right? Okay. Pain because there was something that I learned very early in life. I learned about the concept of the intangibles. Feeling everything fully. In the days that you are happy, feel it fully. So, like I'm the kind of person when when I'm happy, you can tell because I will be screaming. You know, I don't care. I will scream. If I'm laughing, I don't believe there's an ugly laugh. I will laugh and roll on the floor. <laughs> and I'm that kind of person. But when I'm sad, I will sit down inside that sadness. And, feel and even play those TV. very emotional songs that make you sad more. You get me? They say there there are yeah. playlists. For yeah, those. playlists for everything. right. So like I I feel yeah. everything. I feel everything fully because I I I I don't want to miss out on because I I I am a very growth oriented person, right? Mm, okay. And I believe that there is no mental or emotional pocket that you are in that there aren't lessons to learn. So, so yeah. instead of shutting myself out of feeling it i welcome it i know that my capacity is increased by feeling that the next time something like that happens you won't move me mm. right so i welcome it completely so when something like that happens i'm kind of person who will shout at you like i don't really like physical, physical. Right? so I, I won't fight but i will sort a lie okay we'll do that then after that i will go and sit down and talk like ah, i remember one time in the university that one guy of my life mm. you know but it's not it's not a fault i was the one that was looking for <laughs> for a relationship <laughs> you know, she, i was really young i was i was in 2011 i was 17 so i didn't really know much about she her eyes were onto you know big boys and all that me i didn't know i was a small boy i just thought that she would look that i have sex you understand oh. just then you know she gave me whitewashing mm. thankfully it was in the audience of one it was just me <laughs> so she broke it down like this or that or this or that and all of that mm. and it was in the wow. night so it was pretty silent when i went back to my hostel i went to the love garden in front of my hostel and sat down and soaked in every <laughs> so yes you understand I just, and you know the moment that was done i i was completely fine Wow. So like it's, it, yeah. there are different ways what through which people it? process. People process. Yeah. Like me, I, I said, um, I'll just cry. I'm definitely going to cry. I'm going to cry my ass out. But after that particular time, I'm going to move on. Love myself. Be very kind to myself. Because self-love is something that you have to just... You just have to build. You just have to love yourself. Do things for yourself. Create a new lifestyle that even if somebody else is, comes into the picture the person is meeting a very happy person it's not like Absolutely. okay you still have emotional like baggages exactly. and all that so that's it so well for me um when you say assurance it could be that he has proposed to me already and i have a ring which signifies that I am engaged. So uh, if he hasn't even made that step at all, I'm actually going to bring up the question again. Yo, bro, what's up? Are we doing this or not? Or um, do you think we should um, sit back and start all over? Or do you want us to just end this? Because if we've been together for a couple, for a long time, say, I don't know, uh, maybe three years, two years, it depends on um, individual or it depends on me. I, I'll give myself one year maximum to meet somebody and be rest assured that, okay, we are doing this for life. So if at this time you have given me, you have spoken to your mom, you have introduced me to your friends, you have introduced me to your family members, that is no assurance. I just believe that you're just, um, we're just getting to know each other. We're getting to know the family, you know. So if at the time where you are no longer giving me the signs, you're acting funny, I'm going to call you. Hi, baby. What's up? What do you think about this? I really want us to settle down. I want us to have it at this particular time because um, we we have plans. We have um, we have what we want to do for the year, our goals for the year. So if at this time you are not looking into settling down with me, I think it's better off we just have a we um we strategize about everything and know if we are moving forward or not 
Oliver, what do you think about that? Um. So you mentioned the ring. Yeah. Obviously, I don't want to be Lord of the Rings. Exactly. We all know that. So, uh, ladies have this way of reminding. They have different ways of reminding their guys that you what's up, this and this and this. You can't you can't say A today and say A tomorrow and say A next tomorrow. No, exactly. now we always find ways to so, ask the question. So, my dear lady, please ask. Ask. Exactly. Ask. Find a way ask. to ask. Look for another way to ask. If Don't not, ask. You just say as Lord of, Lord the, of the Rings. Last class. Or could you have something to say? It's interesting because you can keep asking <laughs> for as long as you want. The thing is, whatever the answer is, is what the answer is. Your your question has absolutely no bearing on what on what to do what the truth or the answer is right so you can keep asking but the truth is that no, please. yeah no, but no. the answer gives you um a go ahead to know what to do oh yeah absolutely no at any point in time that you feel you are unsure ideally you have to ask it is important to ask questions um but the issue here is for there to be the need to ask in the first place it means there is an inadequacy in the in the communication they are not on the same plane because if both parties are on the same plane then you already know that this is where we are at. this is the only thing that we need, we need. you know yes. for the equation to be complete you exactly. understand so i think asking the question is just uh after the fact the fact is are you on the same are you on the same plane? Are you on the same, you know, mental wavelength? Yeah. You well, you know that sometimes, due um, to some circumstances, unforeseen, same circumstances, um, the guy might just choose to put up some signs, like, I'm not interested, I no longer want to do this, because it could be due to financial reasons, loss of job, maybe it's very something very slight that the lady would have done that will make him feel like, I don't want to do this again. So if she keeps asking this question, um, she would now know if she should move ahead or she should still be there. But you know how guys can be, they want to just have everything covered. Don't worry, I can do this. You don't want to relate with her like, oh, the money is not there. I'm financially down. Um, should we move it forward? What's up, what's up, you know, and all of that. So I don't know what angle you see that from as a guy. Um, so if there are, behavioral traits that are causing the first off let me let me say this in all honesty from conversations that i've had with men who have married or who are married right now every one of them like most of them had moments when they had to think twice about that decision no, it's biology. I have no idea why, <laughs> but I know that most of them told me that at some point, just before they decided to plunge into the unknown, they had to ask themselves if they, because again, you know, it's a lifelong commitment. Yeah. And then the pressure is more on the guy because the guy is the one doing the asking, right? Yes. You can be asking that like, when are we? When are we? When are we? But ultimately. Not, nothing is going to happen until the guy you know gets on one knee and proposes exactly. right? so the pressure is more on him so he thinks about it from the perspective of him. am i sure that this is the person i want to spend the rest of my yeah. life with? and you know in those moments you examine everything the good the bad the ugly and at that point in time when you are examining things you see those character flaws that were negligible in the initial part of the relationship mm. they yes. are you put them yeah. under the microscope and properly examine <laughs> them and then they are amplified they seem bigger yes, at that point. Exactly. so you begin to look at it like my god can i deal can with I this for the rest this? of my life you understand so yeah. but i think at the end of the day it the, the it is all dependent on you know what the bedrock of the relationship has you know been yeah. you know from, from the from the jump if 
this is if we are talking about an open and honest relationship that's why you know like it's not a one size fits all kind of concern that we're having because there are different parameters or different avenues of interaction in different relationships yeah. for some it's a master apprentice relationship for some master it's a you know partnership type exactly. stuff exactly so if the relationship wherein you know they are completely open you can then have the conversation whoa this is where this we is are it. exactly this was good this character of yours <laughs> i'm having second thoughts no, no not second thoughts per se but like almost it's bothering me so in that regard you guys can have a, an honest conversation she can then tell you you self these are some of the things that you but if i'm willing to like overlook these things or if i'm willing to work work with you through this yeah and you'll be willing to work with me so at that point in time you realize that okay it's not like i am perfect and i'm going into a relationship with someone who is not perfect, perfect. we are both imperfect, imperfect and we keep working on it you yeah. know? so like again it hinges on the nature of conversation that you have in that relationship if it's open yeah. and they are willing to admit that see we are working for so how about the financial parts? There's that one too. In fact, you see that one? <laughs> <laughs> that one is the most important one. Very, very important, very even, important because you know it's like I said in previous episode. I said I was not going to refer, but you know, <laughs> you know 